everybody and welcome back to the stationery makery i hope your easter holidays is going as well as possible um, i'm sure it's pretty tough going for many people um, but if you are stuck for things to do then look no further because today i've got a project it's an upcycling project using uh, old milk cartons a plastic type that we get all of our milk in these days and that's what we're going to make uh, really nice little pots that you can put flowers in perhaps or use in other ways it's completely up to you but the idea is that we actually use them as something to sew into so again it's a really good way of getting children to learn how to sew um, and actually it's quite good fun for grown-ups to have a go at this too I've really enjoyed doing them um, the top part is made um, using a blanket stitch and I've punched the holes in here with a hole punch just pushing the hole punch down as far as I could go um, the other bit I actually sewed with a normal needle but I made the holes a bit bigger as I went by pushing a, a braddle through there and the braddle is something you can make holes with like that one there um, obviously be careful when you're doing that you don't want young children to be using something like that so if children are going to have a go at this project then pre-make the holes for them so that they can sew into them um, if you don't have a needle do not despair because I made my own needle for this project using a piece of garden wire and I just bent it back on itself stuck it with glue and bound it with thread and in that uh, way you get a really serviceable and useful needle which goes through the hole punch holes really well and through your own homemade hole punch holes really well too so uh, the the only other thing you need is something to sew with um, and the thread that I've used in this instance is plastic bag uh, again it's all about upcycling this week so you take your plastic bag fold it into quarters like that and if you get some scissors and chop across it about an inch wide you will make loops of bag like that and if you loop them together then you will make nice long usable pieces of plastic bag thread take one like that push it through the other and pull them up and you can just increase ta -da, the length of your plastic bag thread as you go it's really satisfying to do um, plastic bags are fairly robust but they can also tear if you're not um, if you're not careful with them so just just be a little bit careful as you're using them um, I am going to put uh, instructions for making this on my blog maryjanemakes.co.uk craft in quarantine and I will tell you how to make it but it really is good fun and you can make it quite basic you can get a bit more advanced and do this sort of embroidery if you want to it's a little bit like raffia work on the vintage raffia bag so I think the possibilities are sort of endless really but they are really nice for putting plants in um, anyway it's a project that's a bit about the outdoors even though we can't go outdoors very much so I hope you enjoy it it's really lovely to see you again Take care and I'll speak to you again soon from the Stationery Makery. Bye bye.